Trash Reality TV or a brave stand against the institution? Therein lies the rub. Yes, yeah, so they will be presenting this as a brave stand against the institution. I don't think it's going to have the feel of a reality TV show. It's not going to have kind of big screaming matches and stuff like that. This is going to be quite sombre in places. It's going to have some really important public interest issues to talk about racism on social media, talk about racism in the mainstream media, and talk about the really difficult time that actually successive women have had marrying into the royal family. Um, so there's going to be some really important issues here as well. And, of course, there are going to be some bombshells too, and this could make very, very difficult viewing for William and Kate. Um, you know, they've just come back from their tour of Boston, that was supposed to be a huge PR success for them, a major project this year, and now they're straight into, you know, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Um, we have had Kate in both the trailers. Um, we, in the most recent one, there's a strap line underneath, which is a, a headline from a magazine cover, which describes her as a princess in crisis. That particular magazine um, included an allegation that the Queen was embarrassed of her, photographs of her drunk in public was on the front cover. Um, so if they're going to go back into those early days of Kate and William's relationship, this was right about the time that the engagement was announced, mm. that could be very uncomfortable for Kate, even if it's done sensitively. Isn't the point that they're trying to make that any woman who marries into this family is subjected to this sort of feeding frenzy yeah. and this interrogation into your past and anything you might have done as a civilian before you married a royal becomes something that is turned over and over. You know, in a, in a way you could say, well, you know, Meghan's trying to point out something that isn't just unique to her. It actually is something that, you know, she wants to be sympathetic to Kate. Exactly. So people will throw sticks and stones at Harry and Meghan, and they will. It's already started. But there is a really important issue here, and it's one that actually the royal family, if they can see past the kind of wounded self-esteem and the egos, it's one that the royals and that Britain as a society does need to solve. That said, I have a feeling that Harry and Meghan are going to get into some quite specific allegations, right. which will be much more uncomfortable mm. for the royal family. So I think it looks like we're probably going to revisit this story about... Uh, it, the original allegation was that Meghan made Kate cry at a bridesmaid's dress fitting. So in the Oprah interview, that was described as a major turning point when everything changed. Mm. And then in this latest next Netflix trailer, you have Harry saying... This was the turning point. They don't say what he's talking about, but we kind of already we know kind of what know. the turning point is. I, I want to support Susanna uh, on this. I'm very vocal uh, about how wrong it is, to say the very least, that they have won a human rights award, right? Um, uh, but if it's possible, and you may think it is, that people are going to learn something from this. And it is right to say, we've got to call the elephant on the room, it's a, a, a white panel. Um, you know, she talks about experiences of racism on Twitter. Yeah. That's very real. Um, it's absolutely uh, uh, true as well of women um, on Twitter, uh, anti-Jewish racism, when mm -hmm. uh, Rachel Riley posts precisely the same tweet I do, she's met with um, a barrage yeah. of violence. If it's going to change the minds and hearts of people on Twitter, I doubt it will very much, but it's going to draw attention to that, that seems to have some educational value, does it not? And also society, you know, we have to ask ourselves whether we want to be open to actually addressing problems that exist within our society, because it's all of us, you know, it's not mm. just a few random trolls, it is predominantly you know, 80-odd people, 80-odd very dedicated, fixated trolls on Twitter. Mm. But also, we all have an opportunity to think about how we talk about the royal women, women who marry into the royal family, how we discuss them, as in the media, how we write stories about them. You know, there are going to be really serious issues here, and the royal family could actually benefit from trying to get society to focus on some of that stuff if they can see past the bruised self-esteem. Mm. Jack Royston, good to talk to you this Thank morning. You. Thanks very much indeed.